do this, John. Okay, you can do this. Welcome to my vlog. Is that okay? Hi, I'm John. Welcome to my vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video clip from The King's Speech, which is a brilliant film talking about finding your voice. And it's also helpful because it highlights how incredibly nervous I am. I even came with cue cards. But even though I'm nervous, I'm also really excited just to get to share some of my stories about things that I love and some of my insights. And today we're going to be looking at a few scenes from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And I'm just excited to show you what I think of those films and those scenes. And it's not necessarily the ideas of the author, J.R.R. Tolkien, or the filmmaker, Peter Jackson, but things that I've noticed. And the cool thing about it is that when you see these scenes, you'll notice things that I haven't even thought of. And so we'll start with the first scene from Fellowship of the Ring with Frodo and Aragorn. Frodo? It has taken more, man. Where is the ring? Stay away! Frodo! I swore to protect you. Can you protect me from yourself? Would you destroy it? I really enjoy the friendship between Aragorn and Frodo here. I love just the honest communication, how Frodo's very upfront telling his friend, I'm not sure if you can do what I need you to do. And then Aragorn slowly realizing, oh, this might not be the best role for me. And I think that's a key for friendship, putting someone else's needs above your own where Frodo's asking Aragorn to do something for what he needs, to look after his friends. And Aragorn's realizing, oh, that, that would be a better purpose. But what I also really like is that Aragorn really had to let his friend know, if I could have stayed with you, I would have given up everything, and I would have followed you to the very end. He just had to, to let his friend know that he wouldn't have abandoned him. So that was the first example of a characteristic of friendship. The next scene will be from The Two Towers. It involves Sam and Frodo, when Frodo is in serious danger. We shouldn't even be here. But we are. It's 
like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. Because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing. This shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something. Even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Frodo, I do understand. I know now. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. Because they were holding on to something. What are we holding on to, Sam? There's some good in this world, Mr. Furl. And it's worth fighting for. And I really enjoy the dynamic between Frodo and Sam. At the beginning, Sam sees that Frodo's in danger. And even though helping puts him in a great deal of danger, he runs up to his friend. And he just doesn't passively push him. He literally fights him to keep him from putting on the ring. And then I love after they've had this commotion and there's a little bit of safety, they just jump right into communicating. They don't talk about the awkwardness of what just happened. They just say what they're really feeling, which I think is a value of close friendship where they can kind of skip over just the superficial things. And Frodo tells him how he's feeling. And Sam gently reminds him that it's me, it's your friend. And then he sees that his friend is lost and hurting. And he reminds him of the truth about what they're doing and about who he is. And he gives Frodo perspective. And he literally picks him up off the ground to help him back on his feet. And now let's head into our third scene, which also involves Sam and Frodo. But this is taken from The Return of the King, where they're deep into Mordor, and they're really feeling it. Mr. Frodo. There's light and beauty up there that no shadow can touch. And I'm glad we got to save this clip for last because it's one of my favorite scenes and I believe it can only be found in the extended version of Return of the King. And it's where Sam is, is reminding his friend Frodo of the truth when he can't see it. At this point, Frodo's really hurting and he's barely able to move forward. And Sam sees that, but he doesn't leave him. He's with him in the heart of Mordor. And when he sees a ray of hope, he shares it with his friend to encourage him, to remind him of who he is and what they're doing. And I just think that's such a cool picture. Despite the hope of them trying to destroy the ring, it's just such a picture of hope, of just the friendship of these two hobbits. And I love at the very end where it shows them cowering together, hidden on this backdrop of darkness where you can see the Eye of Sauron just towering above them in the distance. And this scene is really meaningful to me because I remember first noticing it 
it was a holiday, either Thanksgiving or Christmas, where I was at my aunt's house and I was catching up on laundry and we were excited because we found out there was a marathon of all the extended versions of the trilogy in a row. And so we got into it and I remember seeing that scene and God speaking to me, giving me an impression of, hey, John, that's the same with you, that, that light. There are things of beauty and goodness that I have created that can't be blotted out by any darkness. Nothing can shadow over them. And so I even remember that to this day, years later, just whenever I see a, a bright star or the, the moon in the sky that can't be blotted out by, by clouds or anything going on. And it's a little reminder from God. Well, I'm really glad we got to watch these clips together. There are three really significant scenes to me that I think model great friendships. It was an honor to get to share these stories with you. And I just want to remind you that you are significant and valuable and you have stories to share too. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you tuning in to the first YouTube video. This was a lot of fun and take care. We'll see you next time.